How long it will take you to learn a language depends on three factors, right? First one, and the most important, is how effective or ineffective the system you're using is. The second one, which is also really important, is how hard you work. And the third one, which is not as important as uh, most people think, is how difficult or easy the language is. We'll, we'll talk about that later, but for now, let's focus on the first two because these are the key factors here. If the system's good, you will make progress. If the system's good, but you're lazy, you'll make progress, but, but slowly. If the system's good and you work hard, you'll make a lot of progress very fast. If the system's shit, like let's say Duolingo or something like that, no matter how hard you work, you will always, uh, you'll never go get past a very uh, basic, limited uh, vocabulary. And uh, yeah, it will take forever for you to make some serious progress in the language. That's why you see all those 897 day streaks and so on by people who can't really speak. So you need a good system, you need to work hard. So consistency, discipline, even if it's not more than half an hour a day, learn every single day with a good system. If you learn every single day with a bad system, you, there's no progress there. The last part is how difficult the language is. And this basically, this is a question of, of how different or similar the language is to the languages you already speak. If you speak Spanish, Portuguese will be very easy. For an English speaker, Portuguese will be slightly more difficult. Arabic or Chinese or Japanese will be much more difficult because the writing system is completely different, pronunciation is completely different, grammar, vocabulary. There are almost no cognates, there are no words that are recognizable it will be much more difficult. So how long it will take for you to learn them depends on yeah, how difficult the language is. Uh, again, I'm talking now if, you, if you've got the system and the discipline and consistency part, right? Yeah, so if you're using a good system and you're uh, working hard, this is my estimation of how long it will take you. Well, for an easy language, a couple of weeks to a month and you'll be understanding and speaking it well. Again, with a good system and consistency. If the language is on the other extreme and it's very, very hard, very different, three to six months of, again, consistent work using a good system. This is key. Again, if you don't come crying to me, if you've been trying to learn for 10 years, you can still... You still can't speak Chinese, blah, blah, blah. You've been using a shit system or you've been lazy or probably both, yeah? If you work hard and use a good system, three to six months, you can understand and speak the language relatively well. Most languages won't be a very easy one or a very difficult one. They'll be somewhere in the middle. So if you're learning French as an English speaker or if you're learning, I don't know, Romanian, it'll be somewhere in the middle. So that should take two or three months of hard work with a good system. Again, what's a good system? As I always say, memorize lots and lots of vocabulary because if you don't know the words, you will not understand anything. Get massive input. The moment you know enough vocabulary, you can start reading and listening to the language a lot. That way you learn all the grammar without having to study it. Uh, you learn all the language patterns, the pronunciation and so on. Language islands, prepare them, use them to get conversational quickly. Listen and repeating drills for uh, fluency and pronunciation. Lots and lots of drills. This is something that you should train like an athlete, like someone who's practicing day in and day out their craft. So 100, 200, a thousand sentences a day if you want. Listen and repeat one after another, trying to sound as close as possible to the native speaker, uh, speaker sentence. 
are finally translation into the language to find and correct all your mistakes. You identify your mistakes and you correct them with translation. You can do it in writing or you can do it in speaking. If you look at the sentences in English, then you should have another column in the language you're learning. Let's say it's Spanish and you, hello, my name is Vicker, hola, me llamo Vicker. And then you, you read the English, you try to say it in Spanish and you look at it, uh, at the original sentence in Spanish and you repeat it out, out loud if you got it wrong. And you keep doing that over and over until you can do it with no mistakes. This is a good system. Talking about the elephant, it's the banana and doing, playing mini games and things like that. That's not a good system. You can do that. It doesn't matter how long your streak is. You will never be fluent with that. Again, final, uh, final myth I want to debunk. You don't need to move to the country. You don't need to talk to native speakers. You don't need a native speaker girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. In fact, those are enjoyable ways to, uh, to learn a language, but they're not the most effective way. Most of the learning, including the speaking, should happen on your own. It should take place at home, should look like work, should look like training. You're working out, you're practicing a skill so that then you perform when you're in pe well, with people. Yeah? Socializing in real life should be fun. It shouldn't be a classroom. In fact, a classroom is a terrible idea in general. <laughs> the real learning should be, again, memorize vocabulary, massive amounts of reading and listening, massive input, language islands for conversation, listen and repeating to get more fluent and improve your pronunciation and translation to uh, increase your accuracy and eliminate your mistakes. This is a good system. How long it will take depends on if you implement the system or not. If you instead prefer doing things that feel good, that feel like they give you uh, mini points and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Or you're lazy and you don't do anything then it will take forever and you will never be fluent. If you implement this system, again, depends on how difficult the language is, but between a month and three, four months, six maximum, if it's a very difficult language, and you'll be understanding the language well and speaking it fluently. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and keep coming back if you want uh, more good advice on language learning.